Welcome to OneSignal's user guide. This video explains the OneSignal ID and how it relates to the subscription ID and external ID, which together form a user. This video assumes you are using OneSignal's user model APIs, which start on version 5 of our mobile SDKs and 16 of our web SDK. If you set up OneSignal before August of 2023, you can find details on migrating to our user model in our documentation or contact support at onesignal.com anytime if you have questions. Okay, let's get started. In OneSignal, a user is someone that can receive messages from your application and is represented by a unique identifier called the OneSignal ID. This ID is created in the following ways. New users get assigned a OneSignal ID when they subscribe to push notifications on your website or download and open your mobile application. Current users get new OneSignal IDs when they clear their browser history and return to your site, uninstall and reinstall your mobile app on the same device, or if you call the OneSignal.logout method. Also, you create OneSignal IDs with our Create User API or CSV upload functionality. More on this in a moment. At all times, a OneSignal ID must have a subscription or an alias associated with it, Otherwise, it is discarded. A subscription is the messaging channel the user opted into, like push notifications, email, and SMS. Each channel is represented by a unique subscription ID. An alias is how you identify a user in your database and across your third-party integrations. An important feature of the OneSignal ID is that it's considered anonymous until identified with the external ID alias. You set the external ID usually when a user logs into your application by calling OneSignal's login method or by setting the external ID property with our API or CSV upload. More details on subscriptions, aliases, and external IDs can be found in our documentation, but a key takeaway here is that a user can have multiple different subscription IDs and should only have a single unique OneSignal ID when identified with an external ID. Let's take a look at how this works in the OneSignal dashboard. When you navigate to audience subscriptions, you will see all your users' messaging channel data available in OneSignal. A user, which is represented by the OneSignal ID, can have multiple messaging channel subscriptions like push notifications, email, and SMS, each represented by a unique subscription ID. For example, let's look at this user. We'll call him John. John has three subscriptions, one for web push, one for SMS, and one for email. When John opted in to these channels through my website using OneSignal's front-end SDK, each channel was assigned a different subscription ID and the same OneSignal ID. However, John is still considered anonymous. We don't know for sure who this is because there is no external ID set. If John were to download my mobile app, this creates a new subscription ID and a different OneSignal ID. In order for users like John here to not be anonymous, we need to identify them with some kind of user ID, which we then set as the external ID. In this case, John logged in to my mobile app where I set his user ID as the external ID. Now, if the external ID is new to the OneSignal app, then the current OneSignal ID becomes identified and all new subscriptions with this external ID will have the same OneSignal ID. If the external ID is already present in the OneSignal app, then the current OneSignal ID on the subscription will be discarded and replaced with the identified OneSignal ID to match the other subscriptions. For example, we can see that when John logs into the website, the anonymous OneSignal IDs here on the three subscriptions get discarded and replaced with the identified OneSignal ID that matches the already known external ID. That's it. I can now send John targeted messages across all his devices and channels he has opted into. I hope this helped clarify the OneSignal ID and user concepts. For more details on users, subscriptions, aliases, or anything OneSignal related, please visit our documentation or reach out to support at OneSignal.com with your questions. We would be happy to assist you, and thank you for watching.